Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about standard deviation. What the heck is that? If you have a continuous glucose monitor or just a regular blood glucose meter, when you look at the downloads, it gives you your average and it gives you the, the little SD, standard deviation. It really is a code word for how much are you bouncing around from day to day. Here is my patient Liz. She's got type 1. This is the download of her Dexcom continuous glucose monitor where there are seven days in a row put on top of each other in one screen. And you can see the shaded green area. That, that range is 70 to 180. That's an important range. That's what we're trying to shoot for. In fact, another important term I'll mention later is time and range. How much time during the day in minutes, hours, where your blood sugar is in that green zone. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to say, God, this poor woman is bouncing around all over the place. Frustrating, primarily for her. And you know, what are the what is the cause of that? Having type one, the insulin doesn't always work the same from day to day, different meals, different times of meals, different intensity of exercise, duration of exercise. There's so many things that can affect the blood sugar. So there's a lot of things to work on with Liz. Now, if you take those same numbers and you put it into this 24-hour glucose profile, you see those vertical shaded rectangles? Here they are. That's the standard deviation. And the wider, the taller those rectangles, the more variable her blood sugars are and the higher her standard deviation. And this particular download just looks at it on an hourly basis throughout the day. So you can figure out what time of the day are my blood sugars the most inconsistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, she sees a great doctor. He's super smart. He's extremely handsome. Oh yeah, me. And uh, here's after working on Liz. And you know, she did all the work herself. I sent her in the right direction. And you can see those vertical rectangles are much flatter. They're like this. That is awesome. And it shows that most of her blood sugars, not all, are in the green zone. Now, if you go over here to this to this screen, this is the download from my Dexcom continuous glucose monitor. And you can see that it gives lots of important information. The mean glucose, the standard deviation, the time and range. How much time did I spend in that 70 to 180 range? And it gives me the 24-hour glucose profile. So you can see right away, my average blood sugar is 142. That means my A1C is going to be less than 7 because 7 equates to an average blood sugar of 150. Now you see standard deviation front and center. It's important, 46. If you have type 1 and you can get your standard deviation less than 50, that's the goal, you're doing extremely well. It just means that you're not bouncing around all over the place. Now time and range, it all is related. Uh, you can see that time and range, I was between 70 and 180. 70% of the time. And I can just tell you from seeing lots of patients under good control, that's pretty darn good with the tools that we have today. As we develop artificial pancreas, that will turn into 95%, and that'll be nice. Now, lastly, you can see uh, the 24-hour glucose profile. And when you look at these yourself, you can see what time of the day are your blood sugars the highest, what time of day are they the lowest, and very importantly, what time of the day are the standard deviations the highest? Because that's the most important part of your glucose profile. You want to get your diabetes much more consistent. So basically, that's it, Nation. Now you know what the standard deviation is.